campus rioting egged on by journo terrorists in the mainstream media. Another riot broke out on another university campus last Wednesday night as haters of law and order egged on by CO conspirator journo terrorists in the media destroyed public and private property and attacked supporters of President Donald J. Trump, beating at least one man unconscious. As you're likely aware by now, domestic terrorists let's not call them protesters because that's not what they are shut down a planned event featuring Trump supporter and Breitbart senior editor Milo Yiannopoulos, setting fires, smashing windows and using steel pipes to beat several people before police moved in. However, the terrorism didn't end there, as reported by the San Francisco Chronicle. But even after the event's cancellation, hundreds of protesters spilled off campus into the city streets, where the violence continued as they confronted drivers, engaged in fights, smashed storefront windows and set fires. In the past, such terrorism has been staged by groups funded by billionaire anarchist George Soros, a Nazi collaborator who has literally taken over the Democratic Party. What's more, Democrats don't seem to mind, while they compare Trump to a Nazi, Democratic leaders are in bed with someone who actually helped them. Related Keep track of who's behind the collapse of our society at terrorism. News As noted by the Gateway Pundit, Soros' filthy hands are all over the anti-Trump, anti-GOP violence in recent months. A week before last Soros was reported as being behind 50 groups involved in the women's protests the day after the inauguration. Before that Soros groups were reportedly being used by social media giants to combat fake news. These groups will use the Soros-funded website Snopes which is notorious for its far-left-leaning positions on all issues related to politics. The result of these efforts will be more far-left news supported by the Nazi collaborator. Before this, Soros was connected to the groups demanding the recounts after the November 8 election. And at about the same time, Soros money was funding protests shortly after the election results were official. Then, of course, there is the pathetic, CO conspirator media, which gives a platform to left wing hate mongers spewing all kinds of crazy, disgusting things that, were Barack Obama still in office, would have been treated as nothing less than treason, and why isn't he speaking out against all of this violence? For instance, little watched MSNBC put Hillary Clinton's vice presidential pick, Senator Tim Kaine of Virginia, on the air and let him say this, unchallenged about the Democratic anti-Trump strategy moving forward. What we've got to do is fight in Congress, fight in the courts, fight in the streets, fight online, fight at the ballot box, and now there's the momentum to be able to do this. And we're not afraid of the popular outcry, we're energized by it and that's going to help us do our job and do it better. Then. Foreign Policy published this unhinged screed from a former State Department senior advisor, Rosa Brooks, who actually suggested a military coup to remove Trump from office. Claiming Trump is crazy, she implores us to read the 25th Amendment to the Constitution, which gives instruction on how to remove a president from office that has been deemed unfit. And why is Trump unfit? Because the angry left has proclaimed it so. And just look at what he's doing to the country. Who's the real lunatic here? I say it's a former government adviser who recommends the military overthrow a duly elected U.S. President, as if we were a banana republic. Related, the angry left won't stop until the civil society is destroyed stay tuned at collapse. News. That any media outlet would even give someone a platform to suggest war in the streets and a military coup to remove our president proves once again that journo terrorists are working hand in hand with actual terrorists funded by a real Nazi sympathizer to destroy civil rights. Here is what the tolerant left is really like. 